ハヤトまでお願いしますアメンズサイガルームアディキョトハヤトデイアナシカムズウィッドエコンプリメンタリータクシーフロムキョトステーショントゥーホテルアイオソメイヘフガトンジャパンズモスカジュアルドライバーソーツニューエクスペリエンスありがとうございますはい。Of the room right here. It's got all your usual amenities like coffee pods and snacks, little bottles of alcohol. There's probably a mini fridge in here. I should open that slower, put that back in there, and then I'm guessing there's a safe. Nailed it, safe there, and the Blu ray player because every hotel needs a Blu ray player. Because in 2023, if you are not traveling with your own Blu rays, you are doing it wrong. I like the paper lantern. And there's a bit of a window, not much of a view. Is that? It's a balcony. Is this? I can open it. I think. I think I can go out here. It works. It's a really tiny balcony, but I have a balcony. This is basically the entire space here with my, my beautiful view. Also, you ever notice you almost never see people on hotel balconies? Mind you, this obviously is probably not meant to be used as a balcony, but. The bed is a king, which for somebody who usually travels in tiny little business hotels here in Japan feels like a little bit of a treat.、Oh. Comfy bed works as designed. Love the pattern back here. And is that kompeto? This little bag right here looks like it is filled with Japanese kompeto. Might recognize it from Spirited Away and a welcome card. Check out over here. I also haven't looked inside the closet yet. What have we got? Okay, spacious closet, mostly empty. And there's usually some kind of pajamas or yukata in here. There we go. This is the yukata they provide. Bathing area is nice, feels fancy. The toilet is in here. It's your standard Japanese fancy toilet with all the magical buttons. And let's take a look at the actual bath. And showers. Okay. That's not bad. A lot of showers in Japan have these adjustable shower heads, and it always reminds me of Lost in Translation when Bill Murray was simply too tall for the shower. This one, good height. But my buddy Noah is staying here as well, and he's one of those fancy Hyatt members with the nice room. So let's go take a peek at his room. You already, I don't see any bags. Are you already checked in? I'm already checked in. It's amazing. I, I, I was very intrigued by the,、uh, the water dispenser. It has <laughs> a whole little mechanism to drop a cup out. To me, this is just a very normal thing. But the last time that Noah was here, he came with Sam and Luke. And Sam has never traveled before. He's never been out of the country. And it shows. I thought it was very endearing, but apparently the comment section, being the comment section, did. Did not, the comment section was not kind to Sam. Check out your room? Yeah, I'm gonna check out my room. So Noah travels a lot, so he's, you're, you're like a fancy member? What, what, what was your. I'm, I'm a globalist.、Uh, most That's, <laughs> it sounds so bad. It sounds like it's your political sense. I'm a globalist. It also says that this elevator can hold 11 people.、Uh, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not feeling 11 people in this elevator. Definitely got the, the bigger room. Well, you got a desk in every one. Got a desk. It's great.、What? This feels so unnecessary. Oh, I mean, most of these suites, and they're very unnecessary. Like, random couch. Will I use random couch? No. No, I, I won't. I had my tripod on it earlier. It's, I think my bathroom's about the size of your entire room. On s e r t can I open the windows? Yeah. It also feels. Slightly weird that the windows are manual in like、yeah. such a fancy room. Yeah, I, the funny thing is, I think there are automatic curtains behind the windows. You got here just barely before me, and you're all you're all like at home already. Oh, yeah, I love I love a good desk. Is there, there's, there's like two, there's two layers of glass here. Very, oh, you have a real patio. Yeah. And this is huge too. It makes my 
Yeah. Mine isn't even a real balcony. <laughs> I don't think you're meant to go on yours. This is, I mean, granted, no furniture, so I guess you just sit or stand and be like, ooh, pretty pond, but you know, it, it's it's a balcony. Well, yours has like garden view and everything. Yeah. I was gonna do a whole tour of your room, but it's basically my room with extra stuff, more space than a, than a real balcony. No, no, there's more. What? Gotta go through the, the hidden door. There's a hidden, oh my, what? And we're in the bathroom. And best part, your toilet doesn't do this. <laughs> like, it, I, I want this at home. I need this at home. This is the best part of the whole bathroom. Your Whoever. excitement from this reminds me so much of that scene from The Simpsons. I like it, but we haven't even turned around yet. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez. Is that... That wood, too. I thought that it was just plastic that looked like that's an actual wooden bath. Oh, it was great. You got the... This is, okay, this, this is all, this, I'm pretty sure this is the size of my room when I stop and think about it. Okay. Usually when I stay in Japan, I'm, I'm often in these tiny little, have you ever stayed in a Japanese business hotel? Oh, I've stayed in little tiny capsule hotels too. Those ones are fun too. You know they have capsule apartments? What? They're handmade and they're absolutely awful. Talk for another time. My little room was still around 500 USD, which just feels extravagant, I think, for like the average person. It's, it's not, not a cheap room. And you're now you're telling me it's not about the room. It's about the breakfast norm. It's all about the breakfast. That's like tomorrow morning. So you tell me I gotta wait till yes. to... Patience norm pays off. It's all about the breakfast. All right, I guess. Should we go do Kyoto? Yes. All right. Okay, so both Western and Japanese style breakfast. You know what you're getting? I know exactly what I'm getting, Norm. Also, this is probably the nicest paper that I've ever held in my life. It's almost velvety. You wanna check out the buffet too, because I I'm going. Okay. Overall, this is what the buffet looks like. Pretty nice. They have kiwi here, and the juice, beverage, and cereal bar is here. The bakery and toaster section is quite nice, but actually the impressive part to me is that rather than the little packs, they actually have little individual jars of jam and honey. And this might be the first time that I've ever seen bread pudding in Japan. Thank you. I think we got enough food. I hope. I was also a little bit excited because on top of the kiwi and the bread pudding, they also had bacon. This is what my waffle looks like here. I have my cafe latte, my berry bowl, and my little eggs benedict right here. Noah's was all excited that instead of just having sugar, they actually gave him syrup to pour into his latte. It's not normal. I need this more. Sugar doesn't dissolve in an iced latte. Syrup does. Why can't the rest of the world do this? It's the tiny things like them sending over this little jug of syrup. This has just become so normalized. They'll do that in a $30 business hotel as well. I just thought that that was standard everywhere. I've clearly spent too much of my adult life in Japan. Did you just drop your toast? No, it is perfectly fine. This is where the toast was normally. We are not going to acknowledge the slight smearing of jam on the table. Okay, sounds good. All right, breakfast won me over. <laughs> good breakfast. Definitely good breakfast. Managed to snag a room at the Hyatt Kyoto today, and it looked... This... 